All right, I'm going to try to talk with this camcorder in my hand. It's about quarter to four in the afternoon. I got a full charge. I'm in float right now with these three Midnight Solar Classics. Kilovolts are all charged up. This morning, I took my Fluke 117 True RMS Digital Multimeter and checked each battery, compared it to each of the Blue Sea Systems digital voltmeters, and guess what? They were exactly the same. So it's not a metering issue. But what I did find out is uh, I kind of screwed up here with the Midnight Solar Classics. My tweaks that I had on here for voltage offset were for my old Trojans. For some reason, I left those in there, and then once I got my float voltages all at 27.6 across, and check the manual for the kilovolt batteries. They want them right at 27.6. Everything lit up nice. And about five to 10 minutes ago, when this thing was in absorb for three minutes, because that's as low as absorb time you can get on these things, these midnights, uh, it was beautiful. I, I checked the meters right down here. All four batteries were at 14.0 volts. So they all were getting a full charge. And then when I went into absorb, they all settled down into float. Now, if you take a look at the voltages, it's been 15, 20 minutes. You see there's a difference in this 24 volt battery here of, what is that, 0 0.8, 0 0.08, 8 thousandths of a volt difference there. And over here, you got 0 0.13 volt difference. Now, is that wrong or bad? I don't think so. I'm thinking that's just the way these, this system is operating because all three controllers are in float. Everybody's happy, you know, doing his thing. Some of these controllers just shut off here. I've got all the three controllers with no temperature sensor, zero, you know, cell volt thing offset. Everything's. I went in. I went into the Midnight Solar local application and made sure everything was the same. And all the charging, let me show you the volts on the charging. These are all set the same too, per the manual for kilovolt. So I'm thinking everything's fine, to be honest with you. It's just the characteristics of discharging while, I, while I'm in float. You know, I have a couple batteries that are high, and then a couple batteries that are not as high right here. So when the sun goes down, everything becomes like 0 0.01 difference. And I watched it this morning when I was down to like 30% state of charge. They were all the same. And then when the sun came up, they all came up about the same. There wasn't any huge variances like they are right now. So it only occurs when I'm in float until the sun goes down. So that's, that's just the way it operates, I guess. It's, it's weird, but I don't think there's anything wrong. Uh, but uh, it's just something to scratch your head about, I guess. But I appreciate all you guys' comments on the last video. And uh, hopefully this helps you with your batteries, too. All the cable links are the same. You know, I read through all the comments. I didn't re-comment or back-comment on your comments. But everything is good to go. I mean, all the cable links are the same. I'm, I'm using copper bus bars. Everything's tight. Everything's you know, equal down there. So we'll see. Let's <laughs> see if how it works. I'm just picky like this, I guess. So, all right. And I, oh, the other thing too is I haven't got into the kilovolt Bluetooth application for my phone to check state of charge. Uh, that's one thing I will do, and uh, and get it to work. <laughs> I just I, I just haven't gotten into it, but I will, and to see what each battery is doing. You can actually. Each battery is com communicates via Bluetooth to your phone with an application. It tells you where it's at with each battery. So it's pretty cool. But uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully that clears up some of the stuff. I'm not 100% sure I fixed it, but I'm happier because <laughs> all three of my controllers have a little green light, and they're all in follow me. The follow me works fine. So there you have it. See ya.